Hey guys, welcome back to part two. Um, if you've missed part one, we are on a six day mission up on the tops of the Canterbury High Country, chasing bloody pre-raw velvet stags. Um, it has been a hell of a trip so far. We had a close encounter with some pigs, some chamois, some young stags, seen a few with real good potential, and um, to top it off last night, Sandy here knocked over an absolute thumper of a stag. So we've got two days left. Um, dragged ourselves out of bed this morning, we've had bugger up sleep, but when there's stags out here it just doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, what's going on this morning, Sam? Well, yeah, like we say, dragged ourselves out of bed this morning. Um, Mitch has pulled up a couple of nice spots about two k's away, there's a couple of nice stags. Um, obviously too far away to make the make a real call on them, but yeah, order of business now is to pack up camp probably and miss it to them. Um, it's the same way we need to travel along the ridge, so that's good. And yeah, hopefully one of them's good enough for Mitch to take. Boys both on the board. Bloody oath mate, she's been wicked so far. I just cannot wait. Let's get in there. These packs look pretty bloody heavy. <laughs> How's it feel? It feels good man. Tell you what, turn around for me. You look the part, eh? Alright, well we've got all our stuff in our packs. We've got the rack on my back. Both packs pretty heavy. <laughs> um, <laughs> gotta go. I'm gonna go up this bloody hill now and relocate camp to another spot about what two and a half, three k away. Yeah, not too far today. And we'll yeah. be a few stags to look down on. Yes. And we'll be nice and close, hopefully, to those other two stags in the distance. So yeah. It's hot though. It's so hot though. Nice 20 past 5 lunch for the boys. <laughs> Another heat stroke, I think. Eh? <laughs> Another big day in the sun. It's cooking up here. So we've just set off um, down that ridge and spotted a couple of stags way off in the shade, right down on the bush line. So Chris just getting the camera set up and hopefully we'll get a good look at them. No sign of that other stag yet, but early days. <laughs> Sandy just found a really nice stick in the bush. It's really cool. It's a great stick. It's an awesome stick. <laughs> Double leader. I think we'll leave this thing. We'll this thing. So, we've just found another stack down there. And he's young. So but bloody hell. Main potential. He's like a 14 pointer with like crazy tops. Um, definitely needs a year or two at least. But there's some pretty bloody good genetics here. Well, that evening hunt didn't quite go to plan. Um, we didn't get onto the stags that we were originally looking at. 
uh, until last light we bumped into one of them so that was bloody cool we got within about 20 meters of it um pretty low light for the camera though so <laughs> don't know if we got that for you or not but hopefully we did um yeah now we just drop down to absolutely scrounge up whatever water we can get yeah, she's so down <laughs> we've been pretty water rich until now so she's a struggle but um yeah back up to camp off to bed and another early morning tomorrow uh last little bit of new country pretty much fingers crossed we can get a stag on the last day last morning on the tops so we need to make it happen bloody oath let's get into it big stags over this ridge come on <laughs> it's the funniest thing stag i've ever seen so i don't know how to stick on his head something like that So I decided to leave that um that young stag over there. He's again nice bloody stag but just not quite old enough for what I want. I um you might think I'm a bit of a picky bastard but uh, I came out here with the goal to get an old stag so not gonna let last day desperation change that. Pretty happy Sandy got his anyway, so regardless she's been a bloody successful trip. I'm gonna hope though. Could be an old bug around here somewhere. We've got one more ridgeline to hunt down for now pretty much for the morning and then we got a hell of a slog to get ourselves a lot closer to pick up point um, and hopefully get a hunt in this evening if we're not successful this morning. Yodi! She's picked up a stag on the other side of the on the face. Zooming in. Here he is. Z look. Not bad. It looks like he's got pretty thick timber, really. I thought she just thinking that out. He's a bit of a thick boy. It's like a decent body on him. Yeah, pretty filled out. I don't think you'd be sad if you shot this. No, I don't think so at all. Well, Mitch has made the call, hasn't he? Yeah, I think he's got a much more filled out body. Uh, pretty thick timber, so I think he's an older animal. Um, so, I think we're going to head over there and give it a shot, eh? Try stalk him and see if we can get a shot away, but we'll make a final assessment over there and we're a bit closer, but from here he looks pretty bloody good. Boys are just sizing just off the ridge line, just out of sight from that stag. Come on. 
Yeah, go. Well, we tried some serious hunting techniques going on there. I'm sure everybody has tried something stupid like that once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know where he went. We had a plane fly over us earlier. Quite low. It might have spooked him and flushed him out, but nah. Don't know where he is. Bugger. We need to carry on and maybe go find one this evening. What's that, man? Can't tell you, it actually got me. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, well. <laughs> Well, we'll set up on our last bit of country glass and it's pretty early, it's about four o'clock, so we've got a wee while to wait before some deer can come out. So Sandy here has actually spotted a wee pig beneath us and we're thinking we could go for some bloody stir fry pork for dinner. <laughs> so we're gonna stalk, stalk down and have a crack at this pig. I think I need to shoot something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, good shot, bro. Beauty goods. Good shot, man. Thanks, mate. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that for camera. Is it gone? Is it gone? No. So uh, tell us about your trophy of a lifetime, mate. Oh, mate, well, been up here in the back country Seven days along the top, we've been looking high and low. I've turned away a few good animals, but this is this is it. This is the pinnacle, the, best. the pinnacle of hunting. Um, <laughs> now, nah, in all seriousness, um, great wee pig. It's going to be bloody tasty in the fry pan tonight. We've got some honey soy sauce to go with it, some rice, make up a wee stir fry. But now, nah, always good to knock over a few pigs. Is that fat will be delicious, bro. Okay. Shit, yeah, nice bit of pork fat. Yeah. Fry it up, get it crackling if we can. Well, this is a hell of a day to be coming off the tops. It is blowing its arse off and it's freezing. Nice southerly breeze, so yeah. Down in the valley tonight, how good. Fucking delicious, bro. Bro, that is so yum. Well, we're on the seventh and final day of our journey. Uh, currently just walking out the riverbed at the moment. Always a pretty rinse, to be fair. <laughs> uh, it's been a bloody mint trip. We had some awesome weather on the tops. Heaps of animals about, eh? Chamois, pigs, stags, you name it. And absolutely wrapped to get a nice wee stag. And a nice wee eater for Mitchie. Yeah, mate, she's been incredible. Absolutely loved every moment of this trip. Um, so as we said at the start, it's a point A to point B trip. Lucky enough to have our mate Aiden pick us up at the end. Thanks mate. Cheers mate. Cheers for watching guys. Uh, hey there you guys. Uh, hope you're enjoying our videos. We're bloody loving filming them. Um, a lot of fun and it keeps us getting down the hills which is what we want to do. Um, to support our ventures because she's, she's pretty pricey and takes a lot of our time up. Um, we've actually released our own merchandise line. So we've got a whole bunch of gear there. We've got the South Island Rifle Walker logo on it. You can either have just a front print or the front print and the back print, uh, depending on what you're after. Uh, but yeah, no, it's real good gear. We've got shirts, beanies, hats, hoodies. And it's all comfy stuff. It's sourced from AS Color. And it's quite nice way around home and stuff and even up on top of a mountain. Yeah, so if you guys want to buy any merch, um, get in contact with us. We'll link our social media accounts down below and put our email address in the um, description of the videos. Um, so you just send us a message and we'll sort you out. And if you don't want to buy any merch, that's absolutely fine. Um, but if you do enjoy the videos, just a like and subscribe would be awesome. Tell your mates, shit around. Yeah. The more views we get, the better. And yeah, just thanks for watching in the first place. 
bloody loving it and it's pretty cool to see people getting on board with all this because nah, it's, it's great fun yeah. bloody awesome yeah cheers for watching guys appreciate it yeah we'll keep making videos and hopefully start getting some big trophies for you as well because <laughs> they're always cool to see <laughs> we have <a> Monday. <laughs>